Hello, my name is Chad, and welcome to my next video series for VBA for Accountants. In this sector, we're gonna in this uh, video, we're gonna be talking about variables and just kind of give you an understanding of what variables are. I believe they are basically the heart and soul of a program because what variables do is they um, store information within the program, which then allows you to either manipulate the data or output it or do whatever you basically need. Um, so basically the topics that we'll be covering here is number one what is a variable so you kinda understand what that is. Um, then I'm gonna go ahead and give you a, an example of using a variable within a program and after that I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you the do's and don'ts for variables so you can kinda understand what, what variables you can create and what you can't, what different restrictions they have on them. So let's go ahead and uh, just describe what a variable is. As most of you are using Excel, I'm assuming you understand Excel and you under understand how Excel has cells and each cell holds data. For example, if I wanted to put 900,000 in cell A1, you could see that cell A1 is storing that value. Um, another way we can look at it is if we were to write it in a different way, and this is the way Excel is actually looking at it in the background, is um, we see it as a visual grid here with it being the cell A1, but way back in Excel and Excel and the programming, it's showing it as value as a value A1 being 900,000. Strings are the same way, and let's say that that 900,000 represents sales. Um, when we're creating variables in a program, we're going to just give it a descriptive name instead of just some weird cell name or cell number. And here we're saying sales equals 900,000. So that's what basically a variable is. Then once I have that variable I can, within a program, I can do whatever I want to with it. So I'm going to go ahead and show you an example of a variable and show you a, diff a couple different types of variables that you can use. And really, other than arrays, which will be in a different subject, um, a way higher video, um, variables, really the only two types that I ever really have to use for the stuff that I do and anything I'm going to show is is uh, strings and integers and honestly I just use strings because they work as integers but anyways let's take a look at those we're going to go ahead and click on the visual basic uh, button which is in the developer tab and as you can see um, I have the um, different types of you know where I can put the variable or the module in and I have uh, VBA project book one which is where I want it um, I have modules here already but I'm going to go ahead and here and just create a whole new module and I do that by right clicking and say insert module here we're going to go ahead and do the sub command which I've discussed in prior uh, videos and this is going to basically create the backrest for us and we're going to call it sub and we'll just give it a, a name as um, variable example and I'm going to go ahead and just hit enter and as you see it puts the end sub there so I'm going to go ahead and just hit enter a few times get some spread there so I can see what I'm doing and basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to say dim and I'm going to give this as variable exmp for example as string now let me go ahead and describe what these are. Basically dim says I want to create a variable. Next thing is we're going to create uh, what, what we want to go ahead and name this variable. We want to give it a good description so when we're programming we might have uh, multiple variables and we want to be able to know what, what these variables are. And using good descriptions really helps. And I'm going to say as space string. Now this is the type of variable. There's many different types of variables um, a string basically can be alpha numeric characters. In other words, I can type in, uh, when I want to store data into variable exmp, I can type in a number or I can type in a, uh, alpha characters. I can type in, uh, you know, hello world, which is what I'm going to do as a sentence. But if we wanted to just use uh, numeric values, you could use integer. And it says, hey, I can use, I just want to use numbers. Now, if I were to come down here and say variable exmp, and I should name that too, you can't use two of the same type. 
two equals hello, it's going to get mad at me because it's going to say, hey, dummy, you said this is a number. This is an integer, and you're using alpha characters. So you can't do that. It's going to get mad at you. Now, if I wanted to come down here and say variable exmp equals 2, it doesn't really care. And I can actually do cal calculations on a string and a uh, uh, integer. So I always use strings because it seems like I always get less errors on that. But anyways, we're just going to go ahead and say variable exmp equals hello world. I hit enter and then I'm gonna and that basically just says I'm gonna hold that information in there. I'm gonna do message box and I'm gonna type variable exp. And so as you can see here, I'm saying this variable equals hello world, and I'm gonna say msgbox, which is message box, it's gonna do a alert box, and I put in variable example. So when I run this, you're gonna see a screen pop up and it's gonna do a little do like it's alerting you and the screen's gonna say hello world so let's go ahead and go into the uh, get out of there and go into macros and there's variable example and as you see I got hello world so that's what a variable basically does and there's many different reasons we'll use them and we'll see examples in other videos of uh, what we can do with variables that was just a simple example some restrictions you need to understand about variables a variable name must start with a letter and not a number Numbers can be included within the name, just not as the first character. So if you wanted to call something M2, you could do that. But if you want to try 2M, it's going to get mad at you because it can't start with the number. A variable name could be no longer than 250 characters. Uh, I don't see that as a restriction because I would say you would be confusing yourself if you create a variable of 250 characters because you're going to have to type that each time you want to... Um, use that variable. Uh, variable name cannot be the same as any one of Excel's keywords by this. I mean you cannot name a variable with such name as sheet, worksheet, etc. So just be careful when you're using variables not to use something that Excel uses. For example, one time I used a variable name as end and that's actually a command because if you think about it uh, when I created that sub and at the end it said end sub and so that's a command within Excel so if you try to declare that as a variable you're trying to say I want to overwrite this within Excel's uh, commands and it's gonna say uh uh because I'm not gonna know whether you actually want me to use the end command in Excel or you're trying to use your end uh, variable that you use as the word end so um, just be careful try not to use anything that Excel uses and number four, all variables must consist of one continuous string of characters only. In other words, you cannot use a space. A couple conventions that people use in the uh, programming industry is um, underscores instead of spaces. And also another good way is, you know, if you wanted to do like I did, I use an underscore, but like for instance, message exmp, let's say we wanted to use, or you can actually do msg instead of using an underscore do a capital EXP and that basically looks almost the same way as that except it's actually a little bit cleaner because it's not as spread out so you know just instead of using spaces you can either just use a capital letter for each word or use an underscore so anyways I want to thank you for watching this video and hope to see you on the next one